Hi you guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Chaney and I'm a homeschooling mom of three kids ages 11, 4, and 9 months. And today I'm going to show you guys what we will be using for Logic in the upcoming homeschool year of 2021 to 2022. So the first thing that I have here is Lollipop Logic. This is going to be the first year that we're using this, uh, but this is for grades K through 2, and I'll be using this with my younger son, my four-year-old. And, you know, it's not too much. Um, we'll probably, we'll be doing this once a week, so it's not too much. It just sort of flexes those parts of his brain to get him used to critical reasoning. A lot of, you know, draw a line to the thing that should come next in each pattern. So this is very, uh, this won't be too difficult for him to do. And then the next thing that I have is Evan Moore's Skill Sharpeners, the Critical Thinking for Grade 1. And again, it's the same, same principle, uh, color combinations, word searches, Completing patterns. Okay, so there's that. And then for my older son, uh, my younger son will probably sit in with us while we're doing this, but this, this is definitely going to go, you know, over his head. But for my 11 year old, we're going to be doing the Fallacy Detective, and this is a course on. Uh, Illogical fallacies. This is 38 lessons on how to recognize bad reasoning. And this goes over red herrings, ad hominems, um, faulty appeal to authority, appeal to the people, a straw man argument, circular reasoning, equivocation, a loaded question, a slippery slope, part to whole, hold apart, either or, generalizations, hasty generalizations, weak analogies. Uh, propaganda, appeal to fear, appeal to pity, bandwagon, repetition, transfer, snob appeal. So, but each lesson has these little comic strips and then it tells a little story. And then there's an exercise that we'll go over. I probably won't have him write in this book so that I can keep it uh, for my other kids when they get older and more ready for it, but I'm super excited about doing this. Can a shrimp like this run our great country? I'm excited. It's stuff like this that I, I get super excited about teaching. I'm a firm believer that I, it's my job to teach my kids how to think, not what to think. So there's that. And then to go along with that, I have an illustrated book of bad arguments. And it's it goes through all the illogical fallacies. Um, but it's a little more kid-friendly. So it'll be around for, you know, this this will be more for my younger son to really get. He's got this little map here. It's a straw man. Irrelevant authority. It'll have a little chapter and a drawing. Little chapter, drawing. It's pretty cute. And yeah, so there you have it. These are what we are going to be using for Logic this year. If you'd like to see anything more in depth or have any questions, drop them in the comments below. And I will see you guys.